I'm a little shaky today because uh, my tripod's out there holding up the uh, GPS antenna temporarily. So I've got everything together here. I had to make a few changes after testing here. The uh, TX RX line was uh, swapped around. So I wanted to explain this commander. I keep mentioning it. It was a small project uh, designed by Adam who also designed and uh, built a display and it's a pickaxe and it allows you to send four commands to the Thunderbolt uh, box without having your notebook uh, constantly hooked up to the unit which is how I have it set right now so I can do some monitoring so that's that. I've added uh, one more thing to it here in the back. I've added uh, an output for an LED on the front of the uh, unit. I've also used his optional uh, minor alarm and critical alarm LED outputs on his board. I've added an LED to monitor the 5 volts uh, power. Here's a shot of the back of the uh, switchboard and the LED board and a shot of the uh, two pin header or breakout board I built to hook up the switches and to uh, hook up the LEDs so everything's set up right now it's running it's already done its survey and everything so we're going to come over here I'll show you the front this was a dish DVR standard definition uh, when I went to HD, it sat in the closet, so I've hacked it up for this project here. You can see where I've hacked here, hacked for the display, and that custom panel in the back. Now, the original LEDs on this were wired common positive. I've changed that to common negative, spun all the LEDs 180, and I've also moved them around into positions where I wanted them also moving the resistors uh, needed for each LED and then here's the switches now I'll be using the up down left and right for the commander down will be stationary position over determined clock up will be uh, if you're moving it around a full 3d position which will update your latitude longitude and your grid square on the move the right button will toggle between GPS time and UTC time, and the left button will kick off a self-survey. As you can see right now, the blue LED is the power supply. This is power to the commander. This is power to the display, which I have disconnected at the moment. This is the uh, minor alarm, and then on the bottom is the critical alarm. So let's hook up the display here. You'll see his name, his call sign. He's in Australia. It's a really nice uh, project he, he built here. So it's been running a while. You can see the data. I'm going to click the right button here. You should see it go to UTC time. Take a pen here. There you go, UTC and GPS. Okay, let me throw the front on here so you can get an idea what it looks like. Okay, here's the front of the unit. Now there were some logos on here. You can see them on the top or the bottom over here and on the bottom over here had the model. I used some xylene, some pretty nasty solvent, and took that off of there. And then also here, you might see real faint where it said receiver one, receiver two, and a few other things. Uh, I've taken them off with plastic polish and I've Q-tipped and it took forever. So. That's that, and you can still see the display nicely through the tinted lens on the front. Now, in the smart card door is the A position rotary switch for the display, which allows you to change what page it's displaying.
So right now it's on page one. It's showing it's doing fixes. It's uh, locked in. It's showing you the error in parts per billion on the 10 megahertz output. If we go to two, it tells you what mode. We're in overdetermined clock mode, disciplining normal, and the survey is 100% because I kicked off a survey. And on the bottom right would be uh, there would be an M here if there was a minor alarm. Your alarm page, no critical, no minors. Your power supply voltage. The next position, position 5, goes through all the different pages. So it would be constantly looping if you were monitoring it in your shack. I'm not quite sure because I don't have them to memory yet what they do, what they switch between. I think some of them will be uh, show the main screen if there's an alarm, then it'll go show the alarm. If I were to pull off the antenna or something, then I'd get the uh, LEDs over here. I've noticed that the amber one is a little weak, so I'm going to have to work on that. So All the buttons are available on the breakout board. I'm just using the four, and that's it. That's the uh, Trimble Thunderbolt GPS DO in a DISH network DVR enclosure. There's a couple little things I want to change. I'd like to change these to be uh, B and C on both sides and go through. I mean, it's sturdy the way it is right now. It's not going anywhere, but I just I don't like to look at that. I'd like to do that a little bit differently. And uh, underneath the power supply is a fan. I don't have it hooked up right now, but there is a fan that can blow underneath to where the power supply is. I will make a slideshow showing the uh, construction of the enclosure. You'll be able to see all the fans and stuff. Here's your output. Antenna, 10 megahertz. Uh, one pulse per second, and then here's the custom plate I made it along the back here. Uh, switch, fuse, all that good stuff. So, uh, I'm happy with it. I think it came out pretty good, and uh, I like how it uses the uh, tinted lens on the front. And Adam, thank you very much for designing and uh, building and making this available. This is, display is just great. It's a great addition to this. Uh, that's it. Everybody have a good one. Later.